Oh, good evening. I didn't see you there. <clears throat> but I suppose it is around that time of day, and that time of week. Yes, it's Tuesday, December the 15th. My name's Elijah Blanton. It's time for another installment of the Elijah Blanton blog. <clears throat> anyway, this thing's really hot. Okay, um, so today's awesome because I'm by a fire and I have some grape juice. I'm reading a book. Seriously, that's the book I'm reading. Um, yeah. And I did a bunch of stuff that I was meaning to do, like took out the trash, did all of my responsibilities, learned some shit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the thing where I answer two weeks worth of questions, so bear with me. Um, blueberry. Spontaneous vlog thingy. Oh, um, that sounds awesome, and I want to do that. Yeah. Um, oh, and I don't really know any other people with webcams and stuff besides uh, people who have already done various vlogs for 7 Awesome NBTS series. Yeah. Um, yesterday, awesome. I said that. Uh, Signy. Want to be part of this channel next year? Uh, kind of, but then again, I kind of bad at it, so I think I might just give it up and then do a random exciting vlog every now and then for uh, Blueberry's spontaneous, more unschooler oriented vlog. Um, Paisley. Have I read any good books lately? This book is awesome. It's the one that I read when I'm actually feeling like I can absorb knowledge. Uh, it's by Stuart Kaufman, who's a biologist, and I heard from someone else that he was a physicist who used to work with him. Maybe it was a different Stuart Kaufman, but anyway, the point is he's really smart. He wrote this book about complexity theory, called At Home in the Universe, The Search for the Laws of Self-Organization and Complexity, and it's really cool, and I don't have time to explain it because it's really complicated, thus complexity theory, um, but you should read it because it's great. Um, oh, I'm also reading Shadow Puppets by Russell Scott Card when I don't feel like I can absorb knowledge and I went to be absorbed into something meaningless. Um, not that it's not a really well-written uh, book. Okay, favorite musical? Will. Um, I don't know. I saw My Fair Lady when I was a kid. That was pretty good. I know a lot of songs from Wicked and Avenue Q and Spring Awakening and Rent just because I have these two friends that are twins and they sing songs from Broadway musicals all the time. Um, but I haven't actually seen any of them. But I could probably sing along to most of the songs in them. Um, Zephyr and Jono. Uh, worst movie I've ever seen. Swing Kids, shitty movie. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like the movie Swing Kids. It had really bad swing dancing for one. Uh, it had really bad acting for another one. Um, ending was kind of crappy. It was trying to make a point about something that really was trivial in the grand scheme of things at that time. Even though it did provide an interesting perspective of the liberal German's point of view of German expansionism in the late 1930s and early 1940s. Um, but, um, overall it kind of sucked, uh, anyway. So, oh, what do you do when you're cold? I build a fire and sit by it, because it usually solves the problem. Um, Signy. Oh yeah, Molly. Your most recent vo vlogs have been kind of funny, because it's kind of like, you were like a new exciting vlogger, and you had all these great vlogs, like, um, you know, you edited really well, and they were really cool, and then you did the one where you pretended to be Keisha and Zephyr, which was hilarious. And now you're kind of entering into, like, when Bob Dylan, like, a little while after he went electric, he sort of got postmodernist, and then started wearing dark clothing, sort of like you are now. Um, so, I like to think of you as, like, a really talented vlogger who's um, tried to make themselves pass into obscurity through some weird psychological issue that famous people get. Um, and now you're doing things like, whoa for like, I don't, what was it, like three minutes, and then zooming in on weird stuff. So, I think of this as like your postmodernist Picasso, Picasso phase. <laughs> Picasso, because you're Molly. I get what my brain is thinking. Okay. Um, and you were wayward for a little while in there, which is even funnier. Um, okay. Uh, Signy, you think I should 
have turquoise hair? Um, because that's kind of a question that you would sort of, sort of just ask somebody in passing, and not really uh, on a vlog, I guess. I'm just going to call you and tell you, because it's a personal question. I mean, not personal, but it's more like a conversation question. This vlog won't be too long. Hey, Signy. Yeah, you should have turquoise hair. You should have turquoise hair. Okay, done. All right. Um, Will, what is the pros and cons of a camp commune? Um, I don't know. It seems like it would be cool to have. Like a commune house with just some camp people in like an apartment, like in Western civilization kind of a way. Um, but then it would also be cool to have like a permanent community at um, uh, Indian Brook because it's really sustainable and it has gardens and farms and everything. So like nuclear holocaust, go to Indian Brook with camp people, definitely, because who's going to nuke Vermont? Um, and uh, I don't know, I guess culture-wise it would really depend on East Coast or West Coast because like... East Coast, I think, would work out pretty well. We have the whole sustainable farm thing. Um, it would work pretty well. West Coast, same, but there would have to be condom dispensers, like, basically everywhere. Okay. Um, and my challenge for you, uh, young vlogger, is to... I don't know why I say young. I'm probably younger than most of you. Anyway, um, my challenge for you, young vlogger, is to shout something at God. And if you're an atheist, then shout it at your ceiling, or if you're outside the sky. Um... Yeah. Okay, now I've got to think of something. Okay. So, it'll be something like this. GET DOWN FROM THERE! Ah! It's all. It's just, you know, fun to see people shout things at God. Okay. <laughs>